Well, mental health disorders are one of the leading causes of health loss for New Zealanders. Our diet and fitness guest today says exercise has a positive impact on depression and anxiety and wants more Kiwis to give it a go. Welcome to the Harvey Normal Lounge, Richard Betty from Exercise New Zealand. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. Uh, so you're not suggesting that we start exercise instead of medication, are That's you? That's right. First and foremost, everything we talk about today is really about a population message. Yeah. So if you're a person on medication from your doctor around any mental health issue, then, and you're wanting to go off it, you need to talk to your doctor first. Yeah. We're today just talking about general messages that are useful for everyone when they're considering things in their lives. Right, so what sort of happens to our brains when we do exercise? Well, in a, in, a sh in a short, really what it does is release a bunch of happy chemicals in your brain. So people may have heard of endorphins, which yeah. is what happens when people run. Yeah, um, I haven't found those yet. I'm particularly, running. Well, endorphins are released when you do intensity. So quite often people say, I don't get that bit. Um, and so that, that's a particularly good chemical, but it needs intensity and it needs duration. But serotonin is actually a chemical that's released when you do just a small amount of exercise. Um, and probably the best of them all is a, is a long-winded name, which is uh, BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Okay. And that's a neurotransmitter, and that is probably the best happy pill you could ever take. Really? It's made by your brain. And it's released when you start to exercise, and it even pr improves things like memory as well. Gosh, so there, there's, a hot, there's a hot, again, if it, was, if it was an actual pill, you could bottle it and sell it, um, but you don't need to. You can actually do it simply by increasing intensity, and is, you could short duration works too. I was about to say that. So is there a certain level, a certain time that you have to do? Or? Well, the good thing about exercise is that actually when you're trying to get some of these benefits, it comes very, very, very quickly. So particularly yeah. once you get a little bit of intensity in, then you don't need long duration to get the, the brain to release neurotransmitters. Is there any sort of research into what kind of exercise suits each of us be better? Because obviously everybody is different. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, they're, they're, if you look at a lot of research in the past, it always talked about the best exercise. So there would be research that would come out about cardio training and that mm. was good for your heart and they would find new research about high intensity interval training. Yeah, quite confusing. And absolutely. And so what, what they're always looking for is the answer to exercise. And the same thing happens with nutrition. Want, and people want to know what is the diet. What a lot of modern research, and particularly you know, really leading edge stuff is telling us, is that your genes play a really important part. And if you can understand your genetic makeup, then you can understand what is the best exercises and nutrition for you and your body and people know that naturally because some people say I, I run and I go I just don't enjoy it. every time I run I, my body just feels like it wants to shut down other people go for a run and say it's awesome I love it and that's really a little bit of you beginning to determine without necessarily knowing it right. but it's about your genetic makeup that's really interesting because I am training everyone gets really bored because I keep talking about this I'm training for a half marathon my very first one uh, the Tauranga International Marathon awesome. and I haven't hit that at that stage yet where I'm going I'm loving this running but people say just persevere and you yeah. will actually find Find something you'll get there. The one thing I'd always ask people, particularly when they're starting an exercise journey, is how do you feel after you've done it? Not necessarily while you're doing oh, it. Great, but great after I've done absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, but that's the thing, though. You think about that, where if you before you did anything, you go, you wouldn't feel good. You, and you feel great once you've done running. That, that effectively, is the stuff we're talking Actually, about. you know what? You're absolutely right, I do. Is there a social aspect to it, too, as well, that lifts our spirits? It exercise? can be, absolutely. And so, d d again, it c comes back to different people. So some people like exercising with others. Some people like exercising alone, um, just like the different activities that you can do. But, again, if you're the type of person that likes to exercise with others, and in fact, there's some interesting research we did in New Zealand where if you joined a gym with a friend that was <laughs> like you, in other words, they had similar goals and aspirations, mm -hmm. then you were 10% more likely to stay at the end of 12 months and the average is around 60 to 70 percent if you go with a friend it goes up to almost 80 percent so oh, that doesn't surprise that, me that's a really big lift and simply it's by joining with a friend who has some similar goals because quite often it's like hey if you don't go then I'm kind of letting you down exactly. if I don't go and so no one we'll wants go. to feel like they're letting their friends down exactly what about um, workout times is there a best time to be working out for people well the question I always ask when people say is there a best anything I always yeah. say are you trying to win a gold medal because if the answer is yes well, then, what in life yes well yeah absolutely but if you're trying to win a gold medal actually in, in reality yeah. then there may be some optimum time that you right. should work out but for most people I'd be saying when is the time that you, you can fit it into your lifestyle so if mornings are for you great but some people say I can't do that I've got to make kids lunches before they go to school Ex mm -hmm. absolutely so you go that is not going to work for me other people say after work some people say well I'm exhausted after work so it depends where does it fit into your lifestyle maybe it's going to be lunchtime maybe it can be mornings maybe it's going to be in the weekends more so um, but you just you've got to choose the time that suits you and again the duration some people say I love doing two hours in one go no <laughs> yeah, exactly. Most people go, no, that's not me. Um, and so most people would say, actually, if I can do, you know, 15 minutes here and 30 minutes there, I mean, maybe doing 15 minutes in the morning, mm. 
flicking on a yoga app on TV, that kind of thing. Again, di different people, different things. Something is better than nothing, though, isn't it? So I'll fit it in after breakfast radio and, and morning TV, then I'll do it then, right then. I totally that's exactly agree. What I do. Hey, that's really been quite a fascinating chat, actually, and you're quite inspiring, too. Makes me want to get out and do something. Thank awesome. you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Uh, you can go to the Exercise New Zealand website for more advice and information, okay?